Hello everyone, Mike Arkell here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iacchino. So, Tesla breaking down below that 9,083 9, level, really 9,100. And coming down, spiking through our 88.77 level, then closing above it. Again, we're not trying to pick the exact stopping point. We're trying to find a level that we can take action at. So, especially when it spikes through and closes above it, it can alert you that it's possibly reversing. Now, this prior major support area, 9,083, you can watch 9,100 if you want, is now turned into a resistance with the declining rotation zone. So that's the first level of resistance on a rally, and then we'd be watching this upper edge if we close back into it about 91.75. So those are your two key levels based off the four-hour chart. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to update this with this correction. It looks like we're going to get a pausing bar. So we see if we do break below 88.15. There's 87.85 as an old gain level, so I'd be watching right in that area for some support if it does possibly reverse. If we break below that is 86.92 and 85.70 are the key levels based off the four hour daily because it's always good to have the, the bigger picture in mind. We have, we're still in, even with this move down, you're still in a huge congestion channel. We're starting to get some separation with the rotation zone. But again, there's been, we're, we're just at levels back from uh, end of May. So while well, I'm pointing that out is it's not like it's breaking down. Now, if we start breaking down below about 80, 8560, see all this support level here, or 8570, 8560 right in here, then I'd start watching for an even bigger pullback because then we've broken this whole congestion pattern. But right now we're testing the bottom of the congestion. So what else is interesting though is we've made a series of three lower highs now and it looks like we're still cascading back down. So when we cascaded up before, now we're cascading back down. So I'm really going to be watching these levels that I called out on the four hour chart. If we did get a close below there, I'd start watching for about 8,300. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum coming down here blowing through some of these levels. What's interesting is you're like, oh, these levels, somebody might say, oh, well, it didn't work. Look, it blew through there. Well, let's take a look at the shorter term chart. Look at that. The one hour chart. So comes down, closes below this 227.70 key level we're watching. Comes down and pauses 224.30. Pause for over two hours and then resumes down and then comes crashing down. This also, though, enabled you Two, if you were looking for more levels on the decline, coming in at 217.93, so 218, closing just below it, and then moving back up. So that's how you can use those kind of levels. That's what they're there for. You can go down to a shorter-term chart, especially when we have these violent moves, and really get an idea of what is going on. So that's mess. I'm going to use the bigger ones right now that's not telling me giving me any new useful information and I'm going to drag this down oops not that one I'm going to take this one and see what the next major levels down are for everybody so we break below 2 15 16 I'm really going to be focusing on about this 210.36 and 205.55 on any rally prior, again, prior resistance becoming support. Let's see what we have here. We have this little, might be some minor at about 222.60. Majors coming in closer to about 225. You have those spike downs here, a number of spike downs with the declining rotation zone. So 225 is if we start rallying hard, that's the key level I'm going to be watching. And then if we get back through there, I'm going to watch that 227.70, that major prior support level. Taking a look at the daily, keep the bigger picture in mind. Now, this is slightly different. So this was in consolidation and congestion. You see how long this level held, and now it looks like we're closing below it. Also closing below the 50-day exponential. And we retested this other prior area, so prior resistance becoming support. I know I'm going to keep saying a lot of the same things, but it's good for you to hear it multiple times so it sinks in because then you'll start watching for it on your own charts, especially when things happen. So Ethereum is breaking down from one trading range. 
let's see if it actually enters this trading range, this prior consolidation, or if this provides support and it can bounce back up. But this is much more bearish than Bitcoin because we've closed below a lot of key levels. But if we do close in this area, there's a lot of key support points. So it's not like we're breaking through all of the congestion. We're going from one more recent congestion area to a prior congestion area. So we have our view on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.